When I was in high school, I had a high school choir director that really influenced me a lot and believed in me and encouraged me. And I appreciated that feeling so much that I thought I want to dedicate my life giving this to other students too. I mean, high school and especially middle school, that age is just gnarly for kids. It's, it's one of the toughest times in any of our uh, growing lives. And the arts has always proved to be something that bridges communities and it bridges conflicts uh, globally. And I think why not use the arts and music specifically as a bridge in the conflict that is adolescence and growing up. So it's something that I have decided I wanted to dedicate my entire life to. And uh, I'm not planning on looking back. Before starting at Christ Church, I was actually living overseas. Um, I was living over in South Africa and I was conducting a choir, a boys choir over there and teaching music and just having the absolute time of my life in the most beautiful place in the world. Uh, but I felt really called to come back to Springfield. So when I had announced that I was moving back to Springfield, uh, some people had reached out to me and said, hey, there's this vacancy at Christ Church. I think you would be a really good candidate for it. And uh, you would love Alan Sorensen. He's the best. He's a super goofy guy, great musician. And I thought, well, what's to lose? I had never worked in church music before. It was extremely new to me. Um, but I knew that I liked kids and I knew that I liked music. So I was ready to learn. And uh, the the team and the community here at Christ Church has just been the most supportive and uplifting community somebody could ask for walking in new. Uh, so I've just, I've just loved it. The uh, mountains of growth that have happened uh, corporately as a choir, but also more special is, is actually individually the growth that I've that I've witnessed on the kids. Um, I've watched I've watched some singers who came in with uh, maybe lower confidence try out for a solo or sing a solo at a Sunday service during the anthem and. It's extremely exciting to see the kids fired up. I remember one time I gave Barrett a solo uh, at, a, at a Sunday anthem, and he sang the solo, and it was so wonderful. And I don't know if his parents knew or if anybody knew, the choir knew, and he sang it, and it was absolutely beautiful. And I remember as soon as he finished, he just had the biggest smile on his face. And I could tell that that was just such a rewarding experience for him. Uh, and I've seen it happen with other kids. I've seen it happen with Tommy. I've seen it happen with Dane. Um, I've seen it happen with Ben and Madeline. And just watching the kids grow both as humans and, and as musicians and, and also uh, grow spiritually too with music is, is just uh, extremely life-giving. And uh, it's just been an honor to watch it happen. I start piano for like about 16 years ago when I was age eight, no, age 11, <laughs> yeah. And then I started organ three years ago in my second year of grad school. I started out piano because I want to get into a formal music program in my middle school. And um, my piano skill was the worst at my class. <laughs> So I had no confidence and I hated piano so much. But like God gave me a super good teacher in high school. And I think if I don't have that teacher, like I might be doing something else instead of playing piano and organ at here. I think people in Christ Church are very welcoming and warm. It's just a nice communi community to start with. And you know, like I was super nervous about everything in America and getting to play in a big kind of big church. And with like my new organ ability, I was like worried about what if I did a horrible job in the Sunday service? And what if the congregation doesn't like me and they want to fire me and stuff? But I really appreciate all the people and their supporting here and I'm really happy to be a part of Christ Church. I have been singing all of my life um, in, in churches and um, at home and uh, in school. I had a great public school system where we sang a lot. Um, one of my earliest memories of church singing was going to visit a family in a country church and after our big chicken dinner we'd have a a sing and, we, and Cousin Chloe would play the piano and I'd have to share a, um, a hymnal with Cousin Clarence who couldn't sing very well. But anyway, I learned hymn tunes all early, early on and they've really uh, been a part of 
my devotional life. And then so it's a natural thing that I've gone ahead and been in choirs. Since I was 10 years old, I've been in a choir. And um, I really love the church choir at Christ Church because it's because of its excellence, but also because of the repertoire of music that we sing. Um, it's always quite meaningful and beautiful and challenging. And uh, I think it really serves a purpose in the worship life of people in the church. Something else that the choir does besides anthems is serve as the music leader for the church and brings together a lot of the, an understanding of that hymnody by uh, techniques and descants and really um, being leaders for the folks. And I think it's a wonderful thing. I, I hope it'll be a part of my life as long as I live. Music is such an important part of the liturgy that it almost becomes unthinkable to worship without it. It opens a door for us to experience God on so many levels, speaking to us in ways that are often too deep for words. Music is one of the ways we express our love toward God, especially when we sing. I hope you are finding ways to join in with our soloists during the virtual worship services. It helps us become more engaged in worship by expressing our love toward God through our whole being. If you don't feel comfortable singing, then consider tapping or humming or even clapping along. Find a way to join in in making a joyful noise unto the Lord. It is my hope and prayer that we can soon be together again to return to singing and worshiping together in person. Until then, we will continue to provide virtual music that we hope you will find enriching. God bless.